So this actually might be the most consistent and online CS devs have ever been with now releasing three updates in three days. Now these specific updates are not the size of the armory, but the most recent patches alongside a very active social media presence is definitely a change up. Late yesterday evening, CS devs dropped yet again another update with two minor fixes. And as of right now, a brand new response to Vertigo leaving CS2's map pool sometime soon, at least kinda. Today's video, we're gonna break down last night's blog post, discuss the devs or more so specifically the CS2's Twitter account response to Vertigo leaving the map pool, alongside what we could expect for last minute updates in 2024. Now today's video sponsor is Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a CS2 trading site for all your skin needs. Whether you're choosing to deposit your in-game items or real-life cash, Skins Monkey has it all. If you choose to trade yet need to top up your balance, you can do so by also using my code MANDO for a free $5. Alongside depositing, you get an additional 35% of a deposit bonus. With Skins Monkey's large variety of skins, they also offer daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways. If interested, the link will be in the top of the description down below. Now, firstly for today's video was last night's blog post. Late yesterday evening, we received a few DPR updates with a tweet alongside patch notes. Now, just like the last few updates, they're all pretty much continuing from the armory update, fixing things from that, but also the most recent jump update just a few days ago. There's one category, that being miscellaneous, with two different points. The first point is Valve increased the jump tolerance for sliding alongside a surface to fix certain jumps like in the corner outside in CS underscore office. Now this is the only official bug that Valve has put in this blog post, but because of how much has changed and actually got broken with this most recent jumping update, there's most likely going to be a slew of others that get thrown in here in some sort of blog post next week. The second and final point is Valve fixed a crash in the page file usage when Vulcan Intelization fails for the games to fall back to DirectX 11. And that pretty much concludes last night's blog post. For those wondering, after scanning through the game files, CS2 has nothing new in data mines. So no new map leaks, no new collections coming soon. That's pretty much a wrap. And as of today being Halloween, I wouldn't expect a surprise Halloween update. After the most recent updates, I will say it's pretty crazy that Valve changed jumping one out of the blue, but also this close to the Shanghai Major. We will kind of touch on this later on in the video, but Valve in the past doesn't ever tend to really release something this big, especially in a gameplay that will affect pros this close to a Major, because they're then going to have to readjust adjust to certain jump throws, gameplay feeling off, so on and so forward. Now, because the Blast Premier Final is being played right now, this update came out right before it. CS professional players are currently playing on the patch before this jump update. My question is, is will the Shanghai Major be played on the update prior to the jump update or this new one specifically? Now, with updates aside, let's go on to the news. Now, as this news suggests, Valve has finally responded to Vertigo leaving the map pool, at least kinda. This all started during the Blast Premier World Final with G2 versus Team Spirit. Monacy and Snacks were in a two versus three, ended up winning the round, and Blast posted this clip on Twitter. And then surprisingly enough, Counter-Strike devs or more so the person that just runs the CS Twitter account replied. And afterwards, Osni CS, the CS2 data miner, guy who posts everything about Counter-Strike news, created a comment chain where he stated that Modesty also hates Vertigo, and he asked the devs to specifically think about it. And then CS2's Twitter account replied with a smirk from Shrek. And I know what you're thinking, at first glance this probably means nothing. In the past we've had situations like this, it ends up being nothing, but it's at least acknowledgement that, well, they know pro players don't like the map. But we now know with 100% certainty that CS devs are well aware that lots of pros and some casuals hate the map. But what I will say is a lot of of casuals, especially in the higher tier of Premier, really do enjoy it. But why does Vertigo have such a love-hate relationship with the CS community? Well, Vertigo is very different than every other map in the pool, but some players may say it's what gives it its charm. You can hardly run around the map without crouching or walking, getting your footsteps spotted the entire map length away. And many players feel like Vertigo is more hinted towards the run and gun type of style that you see in Call of Duty. But I also will say it's always pretty nice to see this map in the pool, especially a tournament because it doesn't get played much anymore. And like I stated, it may be what gives the map its charm. It's just the one-off that's just more well, fun to watch. Now, some other reason to think Vertigo could be going very soon. In the past, before a map gets removed from the pool, such as Cobblestone, maps like Cobble right before they get removed see a lot of changes and tweaks to the map. If they're opening up a different layer to the bomb site, making gameplay more immersive, or just overall gameplay changes to the map, just to see if people like it, if it gets a bite from the community and it can stay in the pool. This, in my opinion, is usually just a last ditch effort to see if the map can stay without Valve having to replace it. Vertigo, over the last couple of years, has also seen dozens of changes and reworks to the map. With updates in 2024, we saw a bomb site completely revamped, with now a wall from CT spawn that you can pretty much see people on a site as soon as you spawn in, you got an extra catwalk, and just more ways to play and flank. But it still hasn't changed many people's minds. But what I will say is Counter-Strike players really don't like to try anything new and give it a fair shot. Just look at Counter-Strike's past titles. It takes sometimes up to three or four years for the CS community to really come around on it. Now this is speculation, but Valve in the past, before a map was pulled from the pool like we just stated, and before it's banished to the non-active duty maps, they try and change things up before saying bye to it and remove it from the game entirely. The question is, was this Valve's plan from the start with all these recent changes in 2024. To cut to the chase, Valve isn't going to be pulling this map from the Active Duty map pool anytime soon, with it being this close to the Major, which is now only a month away. Afterwards, after the Major is played, the stickers are maybe removed from the shop, or maybe a little sooner, then I would say it's very possible for the map to get pulled, and maybe replaced with Train. Train has been speculated to be added to the game after it first debuted in CS2's first trailer over a year and a half ago, and has also been spotted in the most recent game file updates, where it could very well be receiving a brand new complete overhaul with even changing weather. And lastly for today's video was now a discussion of what we could 
and should expect before the years end in 2024, specifically for Counter-Strike 2 updates. Now, for a recent timeline, we got the Armory update around a month ago. CS2's last major for 2024 is coming in December, which will cause devs, at least we thought, not to change gameplay, add or change maps and weapons anytime soon. Now, the major is going to include the standards, such as the pass, stickers, souvenirs, and a coin we've also seen the last six years. Valve will most likely, in my opinion, add maps, modes, and possibly refresh the Armory to have new collections in February or March of next year, specifically being after the capitals are pulled away from the shop to put all the players' focus on buying those stickers. It's just my question is, is Valve going to change the stickers, the souvenirs, and coins from being very similar the last few years to have a refreshing take? Now, going back a year ago to December of 2023, by the month of December, Valve introduced the service medal for the year, and I believe the same thing is going to happen here. There was no major content updates to Counter-Strike 2, especially with its launch, let alone any side DLC, but after the service medal was introduced in December, Valve just three months later in February of 2024 released the Call to Arms update. So could we see a very similar pattern in 2025 and the end of 2024? Let me know what you guys think down below. There are still thousands of players reporting to have really bad packet loss. And according to data miners such as Thor CS, FPS after the armory update is still not the same with now some players in some scenarios getting 10% less of FPS in some certain situations after the armory update was first introduced. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay positive, sexy. I'm out guys. Peace.